Hello everyone, Lars and Lisa here, and welcome back to another gaming breakdown. Today the game we're breaking down is Wayward Soul. It's alright, I pronounced it right this time. Wayward, way, like the way, word, or like wayward, wayward soul, something like that. Something with WWS, what is it going to call it WWS? Anyway. This game, this came out today, it's uh, July 17th, 16th. The game came out today, early access. It's a roguelike, uh, I believe like 16, 32 bit, I don't know the bits. Uh, it's a pixel art, it's a pixel art game, roguelike experience of seven characters that you're watching at the moment. Uh, these characters I do not have at the moment, I don't even know who the hell this is. But, uh, you know, you get three characters, well, you gotta start the tutorial, and I think you're forced to die. Don't quote me on that. Maybe you could beat the game, I'm not sure, but I think you have to die. But anyway, you start the game with uh, three characters, a mage, a warrior, and a rogue, and then you have other characters that you unlock further on the game. These characters are significantly different. I'm gonna pick the mage this time, because I can pick the warrior, he's pretty cool. I think if this is the same warrior I had before, he's pretty cool. The mage that I played, the rogue has very short distance, but she's pretty cool. She got like backstabs and stuff like that. So this, uh, just in case you guys are curious, the game, the people who created this game made um, Death Road to Canada. So it's, it's just like any, it's like a roguelike slash semi RPG elements that you could uh, upgrade some kind of certain things. The, the money you get do carry over. Uh, over so like when you play a dungeon, whatever money you get uh, can carry over to other characters whoever you want. You want to try this? Uh, that's the energy of the game. Hmm. The stolen chance of converting a robe or tomb charge. Now I play with this character so I'm not really going to buy anything but I really want to know what the fuck you do. Recover more health when eating. And so, oh you do recover health. I didn't when I entered the room I wasn't sure if I did or not but I guess you did. I have a chance to double damage with a staff spell. I think I'm just gonna save my money for now and then whenever I like a character that's what I'm gonna invest. So we start the game, we're not gonna do anything. I only have like an hour in the game. Don't expect much. But as I said, I, I thought this game was interesting. So I was like, you know what, I like the, the art style and the people who make Death for Wakanda, that seemed, you know, that was a really good game. Okay, so. Don't press that button, how about that? Yeah, there you go. So, unlike, uh, so, uh, unlike other roguelikes, you do get, like, abilities and stuff like that. But, what? Oh, this, this, um, hurts my, um, blue bar. Okay. So, red is health, um, blue is, like, kind of, like, mana. What the fuck is that? Okay. So, like you said, you do get more, you get stuff in this game. But the only thing about this game is that they have a, like a uh, they have a, they actually have a time limit like it's not time limit they have a um, oh damn I shouldn't have eight they have a counter so like if you see the top right corner you see the like the green thing I I kind of wasted it it has it had like three I wasted two by accident oh shit ah uh, oh god uh, okay. Do I have a charging shot here? Yes I do. I do it! Alright. Can you stop? Oh god. Alright. Oh, that goes three people, okay. So like I said, they got enemies you gotta fight. You don't I don't think you level up in this game. Like when you fight the enemies, I don't think you do it. I just think you just uh you do anything? I don't think you level up in this game at all. I don't know if there's any secret walls or anything like that, like an Isaac or something like that, but... I just thought the game was cool. Very pretty looking. Like I said, Death Row Canada was like, well liked. Oh shit. I'm stuck. Alright, let's see... What these are. Oh god! I might die, because I never played this. Okay, I burned you. Come on, little guys. Oh damn it! Complete failed. 
But like I said, I was playing with the warrior, like in the story, I think you're just automatically the warrior. My head, wow, I just thought about it. Wow, I didn't say it out loud, but my head, I'm like, I'm, while I'm playing, I'm like thinking. But this game reminds me of something. Octopla Octopath Traveler. Interesting. Yeah, this is a blow up. Very interesting, they have a, another rogue, like a rogue, well, I don't know, I've never played Octopath Traveler. Yeah, you get, oh, you get a decent amount of help. Alright, you know, they just tell you about the game, you know. The lore, the game, you had to kill the lid, the wizard, but I soon killed you in the tutorial. Now you gotta play with seven random people. What the hell? Is this where I died? Yeah. I thought that was where I died the first time. Okay. Yeah, hey, I got more of these blue things. Ouch. Ouch. You know, it's good to use these. Get away from The combat is really simplistic. It's like really. It, it's, hard. it's not that hard. easy. Oh, man. Want some help? You? Right. Can you die now? Tell me, robot. Do you bleed? Maybe you do. What? Wait, ah, shit. Oh, yeah, he takes a lot of hits, huh? Oh, okay, never mind. What does that do? Maybe that would. Maybe that's, um. Maybe that this um, tells uh what the fuck is that? I forgot I had these things earlier. Right? Hmm. Now these are not abilities. Those those things you saw me read. Those are like one time use uh, spells. Can you feel money? Can I do anything with you guys? Okay. What the hell did I get? I have a shield of some. Oh, I'm. I'm I did not. Okay. Let's see what I want. Swing a magical sword blade that interrupts foes and reflect out. That sounds really good. Health of ice. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see. I think I want that. So now I have a chance to summon a sword? Do I charge it? I don't know if I read it right or not, so... One chance. Oh shit. Da, da, da. So, pass two, pass two, pass one. Okay. I don't know if I did that right, or if I completely, like, I, I, I kind of forgot what the hell, okay, so, I can I go past this now? Yay, oh, fuck. Well, I got it, so it doesn't matter, right? Unless, unless it's not a target, oh shit. What the hell was that? I got hit something in there. Okay. Oh, this, that shield thing I had. It blocked something. And I, oh, get the pet. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to get the pet. Damn it. Oh well. I didn't do that good. But I got money. I got a lot of money for that. Uh. 
I don't know, quit, yeah, quit. For some reason I think quit makes me end of the game. If hurt by enemies, do extra items, I don't know, let's stop, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm just gonna go. Alright, we're gonna try one more run. Just so that way you guys can get like a pretty good aspect of the game. So, oh, so he's just like the, the, the you know. Alright, so this is my character I'm more familiar with. He has like a charging attack that you can actually run with. Unlike the other ones. Oh, the other ones you can run with, but his, I don't know, I find his more like, like this. Don't mind the police, I, I don't know what they want. Oh, wait a Alright, so we do, what I do is charge attacks a lot and then run like a little girl. Ouch. See, and then you charge attack again and then when you bump into the moon, Okay, that doesn't give you money. What is it? Some of these, uh, mushrooms do give you money. Keep in mind, like I said, this game's on early access. I think it's like $10, $11 out. I don't know if those things have anything else. As I find him the more interesting one, because he has the range. Other characters don't have like all stuff in the maze itself. Don't really have range like that. Like his sword actually like has like a wide reach that can attack multiple people, which is really good. Haha, <laughs> you suck. You got killed by human. Ooh, that was a that looks like a health potion or a fire potion. And that was easy. That was actually pretty simple. Compared to the normal fight I have with, um... Oh, maybe that was his brother that died. Let's see. Uh... Oh, so help. So I got help with him. Great. Okay. See, sometimes they give me money, sometimes they don't. You just tell me about the... Let's see what I want. Uh, a hunk of... Traps of soul. Duration applies a slow effect when melee attack. And medium weight. Oh, the sword is medium weight. Okay. Extremely durable. What the hell? So I uh, I'll take that. What the hell did I switch? Oh, okay, sometimes the, the game does stuff, and I don't know what it does. Oh, I switched one of my moves. For the record, there's no farming for items or anything like that. You just kill the enemies and try to, I guess, beat the boss. I'm not sure really what's the end goal here. Where's he going? Oh, he had an axe. They haven't used that. Yeah, you are. Once you understand the pattern, you're really easy. Oh, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, give me a rat. So you also get um random pets. You can only have one pet per uh per run. Thank you. So right now this guy gives me um extra looting chance. Awesome. Do they hit each other? They do hit each other. Yeah, good job, buddy. 
I had one that was a cat that, um, what the cat did? I think it gave me extra crit chance. I had a gust of wind one time. It actually shot me. Oh, I thought it was going to blow up. It's Toya totally to give me a move. Ouch. Oh no, loot means money too. That actually loot. Oh, I had to kill those guys. That's what that Oh, this is actually pretty far. Like, I might be doing way better than before. What the hell is that? Pluto. Uh, causing the next five attacks to stun enemy. Nice. Now, like I said, those things are, are consumable. Like, you use them once and they're gone. I might be doing way better this time. I never even got to the other four. Where the hell am I going? I like that. I love doing the charging attack. Okay. I don't know if, I, if I'm the bad guy or the villain. Cause I, like, if you see what I'm doing, I'm kind of like destroying the house. Where's your family? I'm just kind of like destroying everybody. Ouch. Missed completely with that one. I like the fact they got new enemies, like different enemies. Oh shit. Jump. Hello. Ah, damn it, I died. Damn it. Oh well. Did I unlock anybody? Nope. I'm gonna unlock this. Clear the bronze dungeon. Okay. Ammo key. Okay. Fallen kingdom. Clear more dungeons to unlock this character. Gotcha. Okay, so you just. Pretty much go through the motions of your locked characters as they go. Okay, that's pretty much it. You can use, uh, for the record, this, I know I said it's late, but you can use controller as well. So I've been using controller. Um, pretty smooth motion. I don't know why select the start. It's paused, but it is. But like I said, this is, uh, Rayward Stories. Uh, Souls, sorry. Ray, Ray, Rayward Souls. Pretty good game. Like I said, pretty fun. Uh, early access, so I'm looking forward to seeing what else they're gonna develop and what else they're gonna add to the game. So far, they said they have seven characters. Looks like they were right. Yeah, seven. I don't know. I think this might be like their version, like this these people's versions of like Octopath Traveler. Don't quote me on that, but it's kind of got that that feel, like has the classes and all that other shit. So who knows? Like I said, you know, ten dollars on Steam. I'm not sure if it's. I don't think it's on anything else yet. Maybe come on Switch when um uh, when the game's fully released. So uh, hopefully you guys check it out. I said, hope you guys enjoyed see. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to see more breakdowns. I know I haven't done one in a while, but I thought this game was good enough to break down. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time.